Who doesn't love a classic pumpkin pie? This is definitely one of my favorites during the festive season. I'll start off by preparing my crust. I'm going to be preparing my pie dough in my food processor. I'll add all the ingredients, flour, salt, sugar, super cold butter, cover the lid of the food processor and pulse until it has a crumbly consistency. Then gradually add in your water until the mixture begins to clump together. Remove the dough from the machine and place an amount on a clean surface. Divide the dough in half and gently flatten into two discs without over kneading. Wrap each disc in cling wrap and refrigerate for at least one hour, ideally overnight, before you bake. To form the pie crust, remove the disc from the refrigerator and allow it to sit at room temperature for five minutes. Roll out on a lightly floured surface into a 12-inch circle, about one-eighth of an inch thickness. Gently wrap the dough around the rolling pin and place over a 9-inch pie plate. Gently press the dough down so that it lines the bottom of your pan and trim the excess dough from the side. To prepare the pie filling in the medium-sized bowl, I'm going to combine my pumpkin puree, two eggs plus one yolk, half a cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons cinnamon powder, one teaspoon ginger powder, a quarter teaspoon ground nutmeg, half a lemon zest, and one and a half cups of evaporated milk. Mix all the ingredients together until fully combined. Finally, pour the filling into the unbaked pie shell. Bake in the oven preheated at 220 degrees for 15 minutes, then lower the heat to 180 degrees Celsius and continue to bake for an additional 45 to 50 minutes until the top is golden brown and the middle is a bit jiggly. Cool for at least two hours, ideally overnight. So I've been patiently waiting for my pie to cool down and now comes the moment of truth. The spices in the filling mixture is just so comforting. Cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg. Mm, really good.